Welcome back everyone to Ponto's Fathom Hobbies. This is season 16, episode 5 of Joan of Arc, and we are playing the Unleashed Hell expansion. Uh, we had a massive uh, round 4. The Devil of Avignon was able to smash into a group of troops, sending them all off to the infirmary. You can see him standing on the church tower with his trident. Uh, so we've got the Archangel Gabriel on the board. Uh, we're going to jump right into round number five without further ado. First, we'll check out our sponsors, Hermeticism of Hastor, Alchemy of Azathoth, Necromancy of Nyarlathotep. These are three volumes of the Disclosure from the Necronomicon Fragment, a continuation of the August Moldenhauer Catu Journals books. Uh, all six of these books will be published in a Catu Journals omnibus hardcover edition that you guys can go over to the Patreon and find out some information on that. Uh, I'm also going to do a review of, of it when I get the proof copy across on our sister channel, Pontus Fathom Press, where we do podcasts. Uh, we talk about everything from esoterica to sci-fi to film psychology. So go over there if you want to ch check out that podcast. Uh, if you check out our playlist here on the channel, we've got upcoming A Song of Ice and Fire, miniature painting and gameplay. Uh, we've got tons of videos out there on Eldritch Horror, Cthulhu Wars, War of the Ring, Cthulhu Death May Die, Conan by Monolith, Game of Thrones. Go check out our channel. We've got tons of stuff uh, and appreciate you guys leaving comments, liking, subscribing, growing the channel. Appreciate to all of our Patreons and to our subscribers here. So let's jump into turn number five. Uh, we'll go ahead and grab our uh, activations. We get five activations this round. And we will go ahead and start with the Holy Player. So the Holy Player, I believe we're going to kind of go all out on this one. I'm going to grab Charging for the Mounted Knights. Um, I'm also going to activate these Halberdiers, uh, these reinforcements, Archangel Gabriel. We'll continue with these troops on the run. And we might as well activate these Bowmen and Pikemen as well. To, uh, to round things out. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, great. So uh, let's start off with Archangel Gabriel. We will have the Archangel Gabriel attack with three against the standing two black defense dies for the devil. We get a push, push, and a single injury. So our devil is now down to five health. Uh, let's also check, is there anything that the Inquisitor or uh, Philip de Vitry can do? Once per move, he may spend one to remove one troop, one area. So you know what he'll do? He's going to actually move the devil back this way. Move him out of the way. All right, so he gets to do that once a turn. He'll go ahead and do that. He can actually move the entire devil. Imagine the power of that. Okay, so now let's go ahead and let's have these halberdiers come in. And we'll have these guys rally up to here as well. So that can be, um, these guys can join forces by next round. Let's have our bowmen, though, attack. Um... Uh, well, I think they're not going to be able to do damage against them. But let's have these come down. Our foot soldiers will come down and attack with two dice. And they are also able to send the last of the uh, demonic legions to the infirmary. We can clear this out. We can clear these out. Lastly, we've got our mounted knights. Mounted knights will go ahead and attack um, the devil mounted knights will have red and red with the standing two black defense uh, and they are able to score two damage that brings them down to one two three four five six seven eight nine ten he's down to three health so this is taking it right down to the wire um Finally, let's have this bowman and these halberdiers attack these winged demons. Bowman will fire two winged demons with a black. Uh, 
uh, they are able to block it. And halberdiers also blocked. Okay, so that's it for our holy players. Let's move to the unholy players. So unholy players. Uh, they've got an intrigue that they can play that's called... Um, well, they can rally. Let's have them rally their heretics. So they're going to rally back their heretics from the infirmary. They can just play that with an intrigue card. Let's have the heretics coming into attacking the Pope here. They will go right in. Uh, we'll give them one of the tokens here that they can rally the Pope. Uh, let's also have our devil uh, get ready for an attack, this time against the Archangel Gabriel. Uh, we'll also have our wolves attack. And finally, our winged demons. So let's go ahead and resolve these. Winged demons first. Uh, the winged demons, flying demons, they get to have one, two, one, two. Versus our halberdiers have a white and a red. Halberdiers are sent to the infirmary. Okay, um, winged demons completed. Let's have our devil attack Archangel Gabriel. He gets a standing um, he gets a standing attack like that. He also gets a shield in that. Archangel rolls two shields blocking no damage to our Archangel. Uh, let's go ahead. So that was the devil's attack. Let's have the heretics attack this building. Heretics attack the building. They are able to roll a... Uh, they are able to do one damage to the building. So the Pope's inside. They've got one damage to that building, but still going on. And then uh, we can remove this. Let's have the wolves move down to attack these troops. They're coming through here. Wolves are coming in to attack through the ruined cathedral here. And they can attack next round. Okay, so that's going to do it for the unholy player's moves. Let's kind of regroup a bit here. And we will do our uh, rallies. First of all, we can rally these troops over to here. These are our human troops, can all rally. And we can rally these guys down to here. Rally our crossbowmen. And let's see what we do with our other uh, troops in the infirmary. So we've got some of our Italian reinforcements back. Let's see what we can do with our Culverin. Culverin is destroyed uh, with the death roll. Next up, we can move these to rally. Next up, move these to wait. Executioner. Executioner is, is killed. Cool mini. Go check out the painting video for this mini. Uh, We've got a, a ton of painting videos. I actually have a playlist of all the Joan of Arc painting videos if you guys just want to go check them out. Death to um, Halberdiers. Uh, rally for Colo de Rienzo. He's back on the board. Let's see if he can lead a, an attack against the devil in the last round. These will stay wounded. Our Ars Nova music players are going to go in the waiting standard bearer and our musician uh, musician is sent to the great gig in the sky okay that's going to do it for the council phase camp phase i mean so yeah guys so we're wrapping up round number five I'm thinking that an attack on the Pope's building is the only thing that's going to stop this. So I think maybe the devil will have to do an attack on the Pope, Pope's um, a hiding place in the next round. So uh, we'll look forward to that. I'm going to slide us across to 
turn six, so we remember where we are. And we'll see you in turn six. This will be the, the conclusion of the game, so looking forward to it. Thanks a lot, guys. Bye-bye.